Hello, and this is Big Bang Barn. Today, I will be doing a response on Mikey Angry Birds video, which is a rea uh, reaction to my review on Rayman Legends. Now, the reason why I say reaction is because, well, he made this video, like, on the 28th of January, and he favorited it and liked it, like, what, like, one, like, one day after I uploaded the original video, which was back in, like, October 12th, I think. So, this is not a reaction, since a reaction is your first time watching it, and you, and it's your reactions on how you thought of it. So, this is more of a response, but whatever. I'm doing a response, and he's doing a response. Let's just watch this video. By the way, I favorite this, favorited this video with Mikey Angry Bird. Well done, I definitely want to see more of these. What's up, guys? This is Good Cop. I'm Batman. I'm Wait, that sounds like he said Batman, but I know his name is Cartman, so yeah, you don't have to tell me that. But it sound, but it did sound like he said Batman. Well, at least to me. But I know it's Cartman, so yeah. Wait, bird. Today, it's been a long, 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 long time ago, buddy. Big Ben Bot. A long, 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 long time ago since what? Never mind. This is the first time we got a reaction to one of your videos. Yay! I've been waiting for you to do this for ages! So, we're gonna do a check some, oh, just one video, and then like, it's a Crash Bandicoot right marathon. I don't remember making a Crash Bandicoot Marathon. True, I did make a Crash Bandicoot month, and I am doing a Let's Play on Wrath of Cortex, but I don't remember doing a marathon, unless you can call a month a marathon. But whatever. Maybe we're gonna do your reaction to, uh, my, our reaction to, uh... Remember, reaction! Let's see. He's finding see. it. From my legends. He found it! Yeah, we don't know. So this is the first time we will do this. Like this is the song that the minute of twenty one and eight seconds. Well, Posse is his Rayman revisit video Posse. Wait, did he say it was like twenty one minutes and eight seconds? I don't think it was that length. I'm just checking. It was yeah. Wait, he was correct. It's twenty one minutes and eight seconds. I thought it was twenty two minutes, but whatever. He's correct, and I'm wrong. It's that it has an error or something. Yeah, that seems an error. And also, are you sure you don't rip off me? Because my voice is, looks better than you. Yeah, I'm so, like, a bit more American. Wait, is he, like, talking about his toy things and not them compared to me? Oh, whatever. And it does make sense that you sound more American because, you know, I'm British. English, to be exact. Yeah, no, so, so, are you ready to see the Raymond Legends review? Yes, I am. It may not be my best review, but it certainly isn't my worst. Definitely a lot better than my original Rayman review, and definitely a lot better than my Tony Hawk's Post Gay 2 review, and other, other of my old reviews. You hope so. Let's watch this. Hello, and this is Big Bang Bond. And here is me! <laughs> that is me, guys. That's me. Today, I will be reviewing a new game this time. Uh, yep, this was actually the first time I ever reviewed a game that was pretty recent. Because most of the other games I reviewed before that were, like, more retro games. Most of the time, I was reviewing, like, DS and GBA games. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just giving you a bit of trivia with me. <laughs> right, I will be reviewing Rayman Legends for the Wii U. This game is also on the PS3, Xbox 360, PC, and Vita. Uh, there were plans for the a Wii part for that game, but uh, they actually trying to just just uh, throw it away. Just 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 grab it. Maybe. I don't know where you got that from, but hey, you know everything. You know practically everything about Rayman Legends. So I'm going to trust you. It's just that I haven't found any confirmation that there was going to be a Wii version. Maybe we want the Wii port of this game. Yeah, maybe I know I can let Origins have that. I have the Wii. Not in Japan, though. You and Vita versions, but I'll be focusing on the Wii U version for the. Why not the Vita version? You have footage for the first Redman Origins for the PS Vita, not the 360 
or something. Yes, I have Origins on the Vita and no other systems. And I did not look at the Vita version, it was practically the same game but with less levels and we're good. And Murphy's more annoying because of the annoying touchscreen. In which doesn't always work. I re I reviewed the Wii U version because it's a lot easier to record off of a TV rather than a portable system. And that's something I can definitely tell you now that I have a giant tripod. Okay, let's get that back. Let's review. <laughs> now, from what I gather, this game was first shown off at E3 2012. Uh, real one is actually leaked on the internet on... Spring 2012, right before the Wii U launch, and let's take a make more info for that. Yeah, you're a he's actually right there. I, I I failed to do research back then, and yeah, I just the first time I heard of it was in E3 2012. I did not hear about it anywhere before that, but I know that there was a trailer leaked on like April 27th 2012, which was before E3 2012. And it was intended for a little title for the Wii U. Well, they delay until winter, and then at least on the September, but uh, UK got it early. Because, why UK and international stuff? Why you put it earlier than an American? Actually, it's usually you Americans that get the thing, that get stuff for us. I mean, the NES didn't come out in Europe until late 1986, whereas it came out in 1995, no, 1985 in America. In fact, Japan Japan gets the stuff first sometimes, sometimes it's America. It's not usually Europe. Us Europeans are lucky to get this game first. <laughs> yes, this game's awesome. But I did get it the same day it came out in America, so you can feel a bit happier about that. Plus, it only came out like a few days before it did in America. Oh, and I also did not mention in my review that it came on, like, October the 17th in Japan, and it was a Wii U exclusive in Japan. Why was that Wii U exclusive everywhere? Now, I did not mention the Japanese release because it wasn't released in Japan yet, and I failed to do research. But it is a Wii U exclusive in Japan, which makes me really angry. Sony and Microsoft, I hate you. Why did you have to do this to us? Did you... Did you say you hate me? Then how come you subscribe to me and you often like and favourite some of my videos? Eh? Oh, never mind. Maybe it's just the bird. <laughs> but then it got delayed till February of 2013. Wow, well, UK version was actually released in March, was it? No, it was actually released on August. Silly Billy. Oh, it was on March. Then it was delayed again all the way to the end of August. And then release in on September. Because we And then October in Japan. Only on the Wii U. Which makes you really angry. So lucky because we got the game on the Wii U. Yeah. Everyone did, even Japan. They only got the Wii U version, which makes you really angry. Because they deserve because all of us deserve the the Wii U version only. Abby. Wow, you didn't need to show us the game, but whatever. Why are you throwing it in the bed? Because I, I show him of this game. Okay, let's head back. So it could be multi-platform. I want the Wii U itself, not multi-platform. Well, guys, the police, this game is actually released on the PC and Vita. When yes, I know that, and there, and there, and it will also be coming on the PS4 and Xbox One sometime in the future, but it's not a very long way away, but it will be out on PS4 and Xbox One. Rayman Legends will not convince me to buy either of those. I'm waiting for a new Crash Bandicoot or Jack and Daxter or Spyro to get a PS4, but I know I don't want another Skyland. That won't make me buy a PS4. A classic, traditional Spyro Crash or Jack and Daxter, that will make, that will make me buy a PS4. Or at least beg for one. On uh, official trailers, like the world ported two consoles positive. Now, for my fans, so. Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, PC, and Vita, Third 5. Yeah. Yes, I explained all of the releases on this game at the beginning of the video, in case you don't remember. My sport has received <laughs> amazing reviews. Yeah, Fossey, like 3D World, uh, Samara so 3D World, has fair uh, critical acclaim. Become one of the best Mario games 
on the Wii U. Well, they. You mean the best, since there are only like two Mario games on the Wii U, not counting New Super Luigi U. We said that it's better than New Super Mario Bros. U, but we still have that on the Wii U. I definitely agree with that. Also, awesome. and I definitely agree with them. So, yeah, spoilers. Let's play the game. Yeah, I was saying spoilers because I already said that I like the game. <laughs> And there wasn't as many spoilers as, like, my Super Mario 3D World review, because that came out literally, like, a week after it came out in Europe. Well, that's um. to me. Wait a minute, is that, is that a German rating? Yes, it is, while neither of us can see it. It is. There is a German rating on the, on the disc. Yeah, rated 6. Okay. Alright, here's that old Wii U. Whoa, whoa. Let's footage that's not real English and second off I got it off the internet because I did not want to have to redo play the game all over again now if there's a way to watch the intro without you know putting on a new game please let me know but I don't know and I'm not bothered to research that like like previous, like a new one, like Rayman revisited with that Jaguar fo footage. I thought the Jaguar version looks pretty lame. Yeah. Well, I had to use footage online because I do not own an Atari Jaguar. But he's not. I don't think he's complaining about that. This one and DSi and JBA are better, and also Sega Saturn. I've never played the DSi version. I'm not a ten. I mean, I'm not. Intending on playing it. Yeah, let's talk about them. That's right! One beeping century. Yeah, like one year, one century ago. Yes, one century ago. And in case you don't know, that's 100 years. That's a lot. I'm not joking, guys. I'm not joking. I'm, I'm not sleeping. Joking. Wait, wait. Okay, that's the random Obviously. Now, what I was meant to say was, and what have they been doing for these 100 years? And then I'd say sleeping, but I did not say that, and I thought I did, but I didn't. So that's a mistake on my part. Do, do expect mistakes in my reviews. I'm not professional, okay? I don't believe and while it's fine so far, it all gets worse. <laughs> it's just coming quicker. Why do you put the footage on here? Oh, you can't see how I was uh, beeping lazy. Just so see how the whole console version uh, is. Uh, is can me, does your friend have a 360 of this game? I want to see footage of her. Of his does my friend have a 360? If you're talking about James Minky 447, yes, he does have a 360. And I'm pretty sure he isn't interested in Rayman Legends. Just let you know that the footage in that intro was from the 360 version. Okay, you don't have to explain all the times you saw that one part of the intro. It's unnecessary. Okay, now here's something he does. He makes the characters interact with each other at random moments. 
Now that is pretty random. If you're going to make a reaction, you shouldn't really mess around with your toys. I'm just giving you advice, but you can still do it if you want. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that it's not a very professional thing to do. What does Murphy have to do? What does he have to do? Slap him in the face. Oh, that's pretty hard for people. And the story. But you know what? Story, the story doesn't make the game, the gameplay does. And oh my god, the gameplay's great. No. Okay, uh, here's the weird thing. You said that uh, that red glow box is actually also from the first game. Uh, yes, he is also from the first game. It looks pretty glossy and more colorful. Like now in this game, there are six worlds. color. Tinsy's in trouble. Okay. Okay. Toad story. Okay. okay. He said that. He has to dare lost Mertos. It's Vista de los Muertos. Not okay. I am sorry for my bad pronunciation. I don't speak Spanish. Just understand that, okay? I do not speak Spanish. I did not know how to pronounce it. I just, just said what it said. So it's like, so now I know it's like Vista de los Muitos or whatever the beep you said. I can't speak Spanish, okay? Please still excuse my bad Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I only know a certain amount of words. I do not learn Spanish at school and have never learned Spanish at school. Most of the Spanish I know is from like stupid Dora the Explorer and Handy Manny. Yes. I'm being honest. Although I have learned a tiny bit from James Mickey 447. Thanks, man. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. He's just saying it in like weird voices now. <laughs> just say it. It's just so random. It's Vista de los Muitos. I probably still said it wrong, but whatever. At least it was more accurate than what I originally said. Feast of the Dead. Yeah, that is actually what it said on Google Translate, even though it's not 100% trustworthy, he, that, see, thanks for telling me that it, it is correct, even though in my original video you said that it meant, well, he's a, you, you said that it meant cool day of the dead, okay, but now, but you actually corrected yourself, so well done, man. Well done. Meh, it's Spanish. Yeah, it's Spanish. Yeah, I knew it was Spanish. Spanish has this distinct feel to it. Like French and German and English. And maybe and maybe Japanese. Okay, I get it, it's Fista de los Muitos. Or however you say it. Ugh. You've said it you've said that like a billion times now. Okay, I get the message. It's something like Fista de Luis Muitos. I'm still saying it wrong, I'm sorry. At the very least I'm more accurate than I originally was. Oh it's spelled so if you know Spanish Which he does. Please let me know. Yeah, it's translated to Day of the Dead or Feast of the Dead. Ooh, it also translates to Day of the Dead. Although he said Cool Day of the Dead, so whatever, I don't know. I said Feast of the Los Muertos because I speak Spanish good. So, look. I don't. Buenos dias. Buenos dias to you too. Yeah, and hola, and date, and sietos. Okay, that's enough Spanish. That is enough Spanish, okay? Yeah, I don't know what to translate. I don't. Now I do. Okay, you, I get the message. Spanish. Okay, two thousand lungs under the sea. Thirty-two, two thousand uh, below under the sea, or whatever that is. Let's from the UK or the US. I guess. 
Okay. Now, when I played the game, I, I remembered it being called 2,000... No, 20... Something like 20,000 lums under the sea. That's... Well, I played the PAL version, so maybe it's different in the NTSC U version. Don't know about the NTSC J version, though. I can't tell. I can't tell. E Olympus Maximus. Well, Posse, it's maybe, maybe the better name. Maybe Olympic Murderer. Olympic. Okay, that is Ubisoft to plain to complain to, not me. Disaster. Olympic Madness. Olympic Plata. Okay, Olympus Maximus isn't the best name, and those names do sound cooler. May 14th of July, what the beef is that meant to mean? Okay, see that? May 14th. It's coming on May 14th. And our movie, and, and no one wants a sequel. Also, we have five worlds in Rayman Origins, but I'll get to that later on. And a very little depth. Well, the gameplay is practically... I well, it doesn't really need that much detail because, you know, it's Rayman Origins. So it's a previous game. You don't need to go that much into detail on levels from a previous game. Well, at least that's how I feel. Identical to the gameplay in Rayman Origins, just with a few differences. Hey, 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 here's the footage from the first Rayman Origins on the peaks on the feeder. Yeah, you didn't have to say that out, but whatever. Unlike in Rayman Origins, where you're saving the elect who... Yeah, they actually first appearance in the first one, they come back, and then this game, and now they're gone. They didn't appear in the second. Yeah. Stupid phone in the background. Yeah. 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 It would be nicer if you paused the video then spoke because sometimes I want to hear what's going on in the video, but that's just me. On um, um, the future. Although you still do find Titsy the same way as you do in Rayman Origins, even though they're no longer at the end of the level. Instead, you have to go through the goal. You just have to go through the tunnel, and sometimes you need to touch him with Murphy. And then, yes, that brings me to another. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I have seen them. some TCs are pretty cute. Another new feature in the game that wasn't in Origins. Nope, he doesn't allow. Murphy! Yeah, Gwyneth Diaz, Murphy. How you been, bro? Yeah, Gwyneth Diaz, white bird. Don't know how to say that in Spanish. Want Profess or PewDiePie? Okay, that was weird. So much British. Before so he was. Wait, that what the, that white bird saying? I'm not even going to try. So it definitely sounded American, not British. I sound a bit more British than that. A flying <laughs> okay, you didn't have. Okay, you didn't have to yell PewDiePie again. That thing's a Rayman three, but in this uh, game, Leslie. See, that is not things that professionals would do. Okay, in this game, what you can do... Yeah, kill that Z to be I do many things with Murphy, such as tap enemies, activate switches, make a and kill enemies, and kill enemies, cut. They don't... Murphy does not kill... Wait. Murphy does kill certain types of enemies, but Murphy does not kill normal enemies that Rayman can kill. Except in, like, the Xbox 360, PC, and PS3 versions where those fire monsters turn into ghosts where that Rayman can kill. Cut, cut the rope parody! I don't... That, that wasn't meant to be a cut the rope parody. But whatever. Cut tap on these fiery ghostly things that kill you. So fiery for left. The uh, zombies. Pull down, pull down these door things uh, and more. Uh, crates or something. The controls in this game are super simple. 
Well, uh, I think that the Wii U, that only problem, because it can only play with the gamepad, while the others play... Um... You can't have more than one gamepad. You can't complain. Well, only one person gets the gamepad, and as unfair that they, that may be to others, you everyone's got to live with it. Some Wii Motes, Nunchucks, classic controllers, pro controllers. That's a problem with practically every Wii U game, not just this one. And classic controller pros, and well, that's now it. these are the Wii U controls you with the gamepad. Use either the A or B button to jump, you choose which. But I find the PS3 uh, as actually has the uh, same buttons from the a new one, uh, the 360 as it has the same buttons. Can you use Y in it? Well, uh, if you're saying in the same position of buttons, then yeah, it should be the same. Next to attack, these are with the Wii U gamepad, by the way, and we're sure the same with the Pro Controller. Yeah, controller. we don't know. And you we don't know if, uh... Swimming because he can swim. That's why. Oh, he has got about this bouncing island. Mm. Uh, and when you swim, D pad oh. or left analog stick oh. to swim. Oh, the match is actually pretty nice. The trigger buttons to speed up, and you can press the attack button to attack. It's way more. Yeah, it's pretty long. So that's pretty minutes right now. You silly bird. I did have so some problems at some times where I would spin Sorry. in the air and the game would make me glide and not jump. But Wait, <laughs> he just showed his face. <laughs> I need to do something. Or say something to me. Sorry. Hola, amigo! But that game would make me glide and not jump. But that didn't always happen. <laughs> okay. One awesome thing, and I mean awesome thing, is awesome. all of these powers from the get-go are like a Rayman origin. Awesome! Yeah. Wait, wait, okay, okay. Think about that, why are you, why they put fairies into the E10 Plus rated? I find that actually for kids, not for older audiences. What? Don't complain to me. Complain to complain to Ubisoft. I did not make Rayman Origins. Ubisoft did. Plus, ten and over is for people ten and over for older kids, for teenagers. And, and I don't think that the fairies are that sexual, but that's just me. Well, they are sexual. I will say that. But it still seems a bit out of place. I will. Agree, but I don't find them as out of place as everyone else does. Maybe they have jiggles things and also their nose buns. Don't give Ubisoft ideas. Also, giant hair and wings. In Rayman Origins, you have to save the stupid bear. Wait, don't call them. Well, I did. Well, the very least they're not the naked. Oh my god, the graphics. Now I know the graphics don't make games, but hear me out. This is a game where you would look at the graphics and the game would literally be as good as it looks. Still stand this by that. This is a game that you can oh, by its graphics, unlike most games. Oh, 
being serious, guys. You can actually judge this game with, with by its graphics and the game's just as good as it looks. I mean, well, and that's what like pretty oh, well, it epic, is like, fantastic. Okay. Both 3D World and Or and no not Origins Legends look great. Okay. Happy? Yeah. Oh, Rayman Origins. Why are you put the screen on the Wii U? I don't get why you complained about that. But Big Bad Pod, Mr. Big Bad Pod, why you put it on the, the Wii U screen? This is incredible. Still don't get why you complained about that. Because I'm showing it on the TV. I'm showing you Rayman Legends. Do you want me to show you on your? Do you want me to show you it on the gamepad? Do you? With shaky quality? I don't think so. The characters look way better than they did before. The character looks great. The environment looks quite colourful. Oh no! Please don't turn into Game Do complaining about shiny characters. No! Don't complain about shiny characters! They don't look that bad! It's going to go on and on and on and on about fairies, vegans, E10 game and I won't shut up. Okay, Castle Rock does have my favourite song in the game, but it's pointless that you actually put this in the reaction. So let's just skip oh, further. That was awesome! And since this that was awesome. 40 of Rayman Origins levels, it's that means it, uh, that you get 600 or something. You what? There are not 600 levels in Rayman Origins. And because of that, there are not 60 returning levels in Rayman Legends. I mean, 600, whatever. That's yeah, 700 Rayman Origins entire sound. 700 levels, in Ray 700 levels from Rayman Origins returning? I don't think so. He's talking about the Tinsies, I know, but I said levels, not Tinsies. Crap as well. That is just plain awesome. 215, I said. Play there are not 250 levels in Rayman Origins. And there are not 250 returning levels from Rayman Origins in Rayman Legends. He's talking about the tin season. I think there's like 160 in Rayman Legends. There might be 240, I don't know. I haven't played it in, in ages. Hey, from both Origins and Legends, the Sound effects are practically okay, okay, the same, and well, there's practically no voice act. Well, uh, except for uh, Old Dreamer from the first game, who can uh, he has a voice actor. I don't know who's who's voiced by. Uh, maybe I should check out uh, Wiki or something. You did not have to say that. Why did you say that? You've seen this video before, and you know, and you can't just make these points up before I practically say them out loud. That is unprofessional. Well, who's the voice of? Uh, well, except for the narrator. It's Bubble Dreamer, Peg Bun Bob! It's a Bubble Dreamer, but for them it ah! ah! You do not have to get super angry about it. The reason why I called him a narrator is because that's what he's doing. He's narrating the story. Plus, it's easier to say narrator than Bubble Dreamer. I know that he's called Bubble Dreamer now. I know, but he was narrating the intro, so I called him a narrator. Now, stop getting all angry about something that you don't even need to get angry about. At the beginning of the game. And as you can see, I even said, he, he was saying that 
he was the only voice of the game, and then I just flat out said that he was the only voice in the game. That is a fail. I'm sorry. And stand laughing. Go! Who have been sleeping for a century? And that is, mo that, that is most of the voice acting in the game. Except for the parts in the intro before that part. Look, there are musical levels just as the Castle Rock stage that I showed you. This one, uh, the Iron Tiger. A minute ago. Um, Rachi, Rachi Madness or something. Rachi Madness, I, I think this is a little more I can't you remember. Like a bit. Okay, thank you for saying all the songs, but I don't think it's that necessary. There are 8 bit versions of the song. That's all. Uh, it's it's like the more like the TV is dying and. How's it Kenny's plate? Uh, the pixel vision. I'm just talking about random things now. Okay, okay. I don't like uh, the 8 bit rock music clips because they look more like the connection between the Wii U and the TV's beat, and there are no checkpoints and quite a few cheap deaths. It's all. Yeah. That was exactly what I was saying, okay? All you had to say was, I agree with you, but nope, you had to say it all over again. And I do completely agree with you there. Most crazy looks like they're pixels. It's hard to explain, but it's easy to explain uh, that the screen is very messed up on the stages. Okay, so the stages are like this. Yeah, they're 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 like this. Yeah, as you just heard. The worst fear ever. Okay, it's a trouble. You okay, can turn cool. to a dark. Oh, uh, look at cute. Right, when yeah. he keeps running into that bouncy thingy. Just just look, look at him, uh, even though I know it's Ray Palmer, but whatever. Okay, here's the worst thing ever. The dark it's so old, they're all of the there. Oh, I'm thinking the worst thing ever. The dark man is so scared. He's got to be... You are complaining for me, and I'm already complaining enough in the video, okay? Yes, that's right, I despise Doc Rayman. If I have, if I could touch Dark Rayman, I would murder him in the most violent way ever. Doesn't matter what Rayman game you're playing, Dark Rayman is a piece of beep that deserves to go to hell. <coughs> okay, let's carry on. Pretty hard, especially yeah. this one. Yeah. Just look at Dark Rayman. Right, he uh, goes for you on going to fail, so he's just hiding there, uh, ashamed of his existence. And I told you that, that he's was that you know, that good. Good thing that you're ashamed of yourself, Dark right, Rayman. I hate you too. Now this game doesn't have that many flaws. Because he hates it when I complain about Dark Rayman for whatever reason. Well, at least I guess that's what he thinks. You may not see all of it though. Mainly due to its frustration level. I spent so long trying to to beat this level in under 40 seconds. Hola. The level after he's back his game. Oh no, nothing. Dark Rayman. He gets cheap shots on you all the beeping time. Okay, Dark I'm Rayman. Sure It shouldn't be DLC, it should be something that was immediately in the game. And if it is DLC, it should be free DLC. Let's skip that part. First off, you have 700 tinsies to save, and you are rewarded for saving 700 tinsies. Yeah, because... Those are going to be more costumes. You uh, unlock a golden tinsy. Now, it's great that the game gives you a reward for saving all the tinsies. Yeah. Okay, this game has, at the very least, a gazillion and- Look at his 
face there. I know you can barely see it, but it's so amazing. I'm not going to show you it, but just watch the video for yourself if you want to see how good it is. Hola. No, I'm not Naked Rayman in a Peggy 7 game. But unless he doesn't have any thingy majiggies, that does sound pretty harsh for a 7 rated game. Well, yeah, lums. Well, I did not want to do that. I just didn't. I found it unnecessary, and he would have had to wait even longer for me to make this review. So I didn't bother. But I did collect all 700 tinsies, and I did play quite a few of the challenges, so thank me. I'll tell you what I do have, which will raise my lung count even higher, and which character for the daily challenges and the bosses, and Ray Plummer. Oh, he literally skips the part where I praise the daily challenges and just and weekly challenges, which I don't see why. But wait, he might have done it to shorten the length of this video, but whatever. Why? Because he's an idiot. Yeah, he for the all the levels in the game. Put the controller like Predator from the NES, the horrible game ever. That Arnold Schwarzenegger movie is better than the game. Wait, what on earth was he talking about there? I was talking about like Schwarzenegger. <laughs> movies better than games and NES the bosses and Ray Plummer oh, he die because he's an idiot yeah, he for all the levels yeah, in the yeah, game yeah. Oh. put the, the, the controller like Predator from the NES the horrible game ever that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie is better than the game I don't get that I just don't get that Murphy Murphy helps so much for getting gold medals in every level from up to that you can add on to your I just like talking a very beeping lot. Uh, I think they have all, all of them. I think they have like million numbers. There we go. Okay, here's the sound. Stop here's talking the sound. so much. Okay. Alright, let's just check his review. Okay, oh wait. Unfortunately, you have to put it up with my face for the rest of the video. Uh, you can see your pain. Okay, you guys are going 24 minutes. You mean like an annotation? Well, you haven't made one yet, sorry. I can't click on it. Yeah. Why don't you put a link in the description? All you have to do is copy the link from the actual video, then paste it in the description. It's it's that easy. Um, what the beep is going on right now? That was before I played Super Mario 3D World, and I think I prefer Super Mario 3D World more, but, you know, it wasn't out then, so I called it the best game of the year. But the best game of the year for me is probably Super Mario 3D World now. This game I've picked up this year. No joke, this game is an instant A+. Plus. This I haven't played it in ages, but it was, well, I do remember it being great. This is one of the best games I've ever played. You need to buy it right now for Wii U. It's also PS3, Xbox 360, Yeah, you should buy it on the Wii U. But then you might stop playing it once you collect all 700 tendencies like I did. Wait, you can control uh, Murphy with the mouse in the PC version, or not? I did not quite hear him, but whatever. A plus, buy it now. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Big Man Dot signing out. And make sure you buy this game. Everything about it is good, with just a few minor things. <laughs> buy this game right now. <sighs> yeah, gotta love it. Okay, uh, this is yeah, up. he loves it definitely. Okay.
it wasn't that loud. If you want a loud video, then watch one of Mar Mario Te Plumber's rants or one of Darkness the Curse's older videos from like 2008. Those videos will may make your ears bleed because those videos are truly super loud. This was not that loud at all, okay? It was loud, but it wasn't super loud. I've heard much louder things from so many other reviewers, okay? So, uh, not so because Big Ben Bob has, has a crazy stuff happen, like, put that these fairies are removing the legends because they have to, don't put it, like, in Tokyo for young kids. Yeah, yeah, but you said that there was a naked Rayman in Rayman Legends, and that does not seem very appropriate either. Because they have inappropriate stuff, because school uh, has illegal stuff, like guns and bombs and grenades and banana bombs and holy grail grenades and more. I don't remember that stuff in Rayman Origins, but whatever. So, good up, guys, because this is the most longest video ever. Um, I've seen, I think I've seen video, I think I have seen videos that are over a day long. Well, I haven't watched, well, I did not bother watching all of them, but I've seen videos with counts which are, like, longer than 24 hours. I think. But there are definitely videos longer than this video, because this is not the longest video ever. So, bye. Goodbye. Bye. It's two days, I'm going home. Yeah, you do like to throw your toys, don't you? Except for Cartman, because, you know, he's special. Anyway, that was the video. I really liked it, even though he did complain about some random things, and he did, like, make some pointless complaints, but, and it wasn't professional, but I, I still enjoyed it. It was still a fun experience watching this. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. This is Big Bang Bob signing out. Gracias, amigos. Buenas noches.